Hey everybody. This will be a second video in a series of videos on testing out the LG 4.35 volt pinkies. These LG ABD 11865 lithium ion cells um, rated for 3000 milliamp hours. Supposedly the minimum is 2900. Um, now these are used pulls that come out of a Dell laptop pack from 2014. It was a nine cell pack. Six of the cells were good. The other three were sitting at zero volts. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. The other three were sitting at were sitting at essentially nothing. Um, here's a label. Minimum 8.7 amp hours. Which is essentially minimum. If you divide that by three, that's 2,900. So the the rated the actual rated um, capacity is 3,000 according to what I found online. Um, so what Dell has done is they went by the they went by the minimum capacity of the, the cells. See, as I mentioned, minimum capacity 2,900, but they're actually rated for 3,000. And what's interesting is these are unlike your regular 18650s. These charge up to 4.35 volts rather than 4.2 volts, which means that you must have a charger that's capable of doing so. Now, there's one secret about the BTC3400 charger. Um, now, I have to look back in the manual, but I don't think it's referenced in the manual anywhere at all on how to charge. 4.35 volt cells. Um, I have to look back and see, but um, there's no real obvious way that you would know how to do that, except if you take the bottom cover off, there's a switch on the PCB. You can see I made me an access hole. Get you a good focus here. Hopefully, I don't disrupt the charging of my cells. See that little switch there? 4.2, 4.35, and 3.7. You can switch that little switch and it tells the charger to hey charge up to this maximum voltage. And this is, it's interesting how they would how this manufacturer would provide a switch to where you can switch it to different modes, but hide it inside the case like that. I don't understand that. Um, but it's not too difficult to get around. You just take the bottom cover off, mark a spot where the switch is, and then take your um, take the bottom shell outside and drill a hole to where you can access that switch. But um, yeah, and you can see I have a little, have a little warning flag made that I place in front of the charger when I am charging cells at 4.35 volts. This is this is a, there's a serious reason behind that is you wouldn't want to accidentally drop in some 4.2 volt cells and overcharge them <laughs> over a tenth of a volt. Yeah, hey, that'd be bad. Um, that's, yeah, because the you know, lithium ion cells, especially ones that are ICR chemistry like these, um, they can get very unstable if you overcharge them like that. Um, so yeah, you gotta be careful about that. But anyways, three out of four are done the one on the far right is almost done so what we're going to do is when that one finishes up i'm going to run a discharge test on these to see exactly how much we get out of them now this laptop i don't know the history of it i don't know how many times the battery pack has been cycled and i don't know why the other three cells out of this nine cell pack have failed um yeah, not exactly I'm sure why that happened. Um, but, I mean, it's happened, <laughs> say the least. Um, so far, it's put in. Now, the, the, volt, the voltages on these were a little different, roughly 3.7 to 3.8 volts. And I just went and charged them up from that. And it put in roughly about between, well, if it stopped showing full, 
1700 1800 on these and 1900 on that one um so yeah it'd be kind of interesting to see what happens um i didn't actually number the sales so i don't know exactly where they were in the pack again it's it was a three series three parallel pack um so let's be a wait and see and see how this thing actually how, how these sales actually do okay all four of these sales are done and they're sitting at 4.33 you have 1700, 1800, 1800, 1900. So we'll go ahead and go into discharge mode. We'll discharge at one amp. And this might take a little while, but um, anyways, we'll go ahead and let it go. And we'll continue on from there. Okay, um, this charger, I'm not sure about it. Um, looking at the voltages, and it's showing roughly 3.5 volts. I'm not sure where this thing terminated. And normally, when it's in, normally when I'm dealing with its 4.2 volt cells, this thing goes down to like 2.8 volts and then terminates, but. It didn't go quite that low this time. Um, it's showing roughly 2,800 milliamp hours out of all four, so it's safe to say that when this thing actually it, the, the cells are discharged down to three volts or so, you're getting you're easily getting 3,000 milliamp hours out of them. So I think I think these cells are doing fantastic. Um, I have a fan going because this charger just gets. So, this charger puts so much heat into the cells when it's discharging. It's not the actual cells getting hot, it's just the freaking charger putting heat into them. Um, if I don't have a fan going, these will be pretty warm and these will be hot. That's the way this thing has always been when I've discharged cells. Um, not sure why, it's just the way it's designed. Um, I'm going to also test the other two and see how they do. First I'm going to charge them up and then I'll discharge them and see how far down they go. Hey everybody, I sure hope you guys enjoyed this video from Q Computer Channel. Remember to like the video, subscribe to Q Computer Channel for more updates, and remember to tick the bell so that you actually get notified of these updates. Did you know that I am also on a second channel that's CubeComp MTDX? Over there you'll find videos of bicycling, weather, elevators, and all sorts of other neat and interesting stuff. Feel free to subscribe to that channel as well. And again, I thank you for your support. And thanks for watching this video.